Hello there, kia ora. The Washington Post has on its masthead a saying, democracy dies in darkness. Well, yesterday, Warner Brothers Discovery decided to turn off the lights a little bit when it comes to media in Aotearoa by announcing that they're shutting down NewsHub. Now, NewsHub is a right-wing media outlet, like most of the media outlets in this country. And there will be people who sit there going, well, you know, it's just one less thing to listen to. But having a variety of media voices is really important in creating, well, a decent media diet. You see, a media diet is something that we consider really important to get a robust view of what's going on because you look at things from a range of perspectives. One of the problems that we've got in this country in particular is because our media leans so right already, the diet that you get is kind of like choosing between McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's and Carl's Jr. You know, it's different, but they're all burgers. What they should have done is, you know, 12 to 18 months ago, started to lean left to get a whole bunch of people who have a different ideological perspective and therefore offer a completely different view of what's going on to other mainstream media outlets. But I'm not here to tell you that doing the same thing over and over again and getting the same results is somehow a silly thing to, to put forward. Now, you see, the problem that we've got here is that even though they might have a right-wing voice, they have a unique right-wing voice. There is a really important element that they fill by offering a slightly different perspective to other media outlets. And by removing that, we lose that perspective, which means the information that we're getting from other sources becomes, well, a bit more of an important part of our media diet, but not necessarily a fuller version of our media diet. And that's a real concern. For example, if we take democracy, in general, our new government, the latest cabinet leaks that we've had, or almost all the cabinet leaks that we've had since they got into power, have gone through News Hub. There's quite clearly a link between somebody in that newsroom and somebody in that cabinet. If we didn't have those leaks, we wouldn't know about Casey Costello and her dodgy dealings and all the lies that she's been telling the public about her process for repealing those smoke-free laws. We'd be in the dark about that. And that's not a good place for us to be. And going forward, who knows what other pieces of information and data we're not going to get because we don't have that unique perspective. It's a real, real concern when it comes to holding power to account. But do you know who's really happy about this news? Fascists and the alt-right. For example, this was something that was platformed by Douai de Boer, who is new, former new conservative. He was the one who interviewed uh, the Nazi who was putting swastikas on synagogues on Reality Check Radio last week. He's really happy that there's one less media outlet to keep people at account. And that should be a warning sign for all of us, that if the worst people you know are celebrating the loss of a media outlet, well, chances are they're doing that for their own nefarious purposes, while the rest of us are missing out on a slightly different perspective. Of course, yeah, if News Hub did want to turn left and start changing their ideological perspectives and rebuilding that audience. Might be a bit late for them to do so now, but it's always a table. But it's not likely to happen. Our media output in this country is about to decrease. Some really skilled, qualified, passionate people are about to lose their jobs. And we as a country, and as a voter base, are going to be poorer for it. Because that's just what happens when democracy goes into the dark. <laughs>